in the air, of course, and so are monarch butterflies, but there are a lot fewer than there used to be. Nine first warning meteorologist Sherry Hughes tells us how Mason kindergartners are trying to save the species. Sherry? That is right, Tanya. Actually, more than 600 kindergartners at Mason Early Childhood Center rolled up their sleeves and built a habitat where these butterflies, these monarchs, can flourish. This may look like a regular flower garden, but its real purpose is to be a way station for monarch butterflies. They can drink the milkweed nectar to give them enough energy for their migration from Canada to Mexico and back. Students in Ms. Moult's class came together and got the entire Comet class of 2025 involved by actually growing monarchs, making posters about harmful pesticides that are killing the butterflies and getting the word out about their near extinction. We have been planting plants to help the butterflies. We're trying to make a monarch butterfly way station. We designed it, the kids came up with the blueprints, they actually went out into the way station, they mulched, they planted. And like I said earlier, the garden will still be there when the monarchs make their return journey this fall back to Canada. In a couple of weeks, the students will host a way station dedication at the school, and they're definitely going to be celebrating their success. Nine first warning meteorologist Sherry Hughes in Mount Adams Live. All right, Sherry, what a great idea for the kids, huh?